in the previous videos we have talked about a sort of analysis which is the stream analysis the stream analysis is found from home analysis section and here you have the stream analysis inside the stream analysis you have different type of stream analysis we have already covered the envelope and also the hydrate formation now we are going to talk about another one which is the probability table which is here the probability table is important when you have like a physical property like a temperature or a pressure and you want to know how the another physical property will behave at this temperature and the pressure like for example if i have okay let me write this down if i have a temperature range range from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius so this is a range of temperature and I want to have an interval each 10 degrees Celsius so it will so I will have 0 10 20 30 and so on till 100 okay and I have a pressure a, a specific pressure stated so the pressure will be stated not a range at 2500 kilopascal 5000 kilopascal 700 7500 kilopascal and finally 9000 kilopascal so i have this pressure and i want to know if the temperature is zero what will be the rho the rho is the mass density also if the temperature is 10 degree if it's 20 and so on till 100 and for 5000 the same way for each temperature what will be the density instead of checking each physical probability at a specific temperature and pressure we can create what is known to be the probability table okay so now i'm going back to aspen heises and for the natural gas field i can create the stream analysis from here i choose the probability table and choose the natural gas field or i can enter the natural gas field itself and to go to the attachment now i am going to add an analysis and here i'm going to create this time I am going to create the probability table because I want to understand the behavior of the density of the natural gas stream at different pressure and temperature. So now the probability table I am going to add it. After adding it, you will have this page related to the probability table of the natural gas field. Here this section for the design and the connection. So this is the natural gas field probability table. It's related to the stream. So you can change the stream from here. You have some independent and some dependent variable. The independent is the one that you are changing and it is affecting another one. That's why it's independent. If it's dependent, it is depending on something like this density that I'm going to change the temperature and the pressure. So I'm changing the temperature and the pressure so they are independent. The dependent is the one that is affected with them which is the density. So in this case I have independent variable. I have temperature and the pressure. For the temperature the mode could be incremental like um, I am going to add a lower band, the lowest temperature which is 0, the highest temperature which is 100 and I am get adding the number of increments or the number of intervals okay so in this case it's incremental the minimum would be 0 and I want the maximum to be 100 and from 0 to 100 I want 10 increments or 10 points for the pressure I am going in this case instead of increment like this one I am going to state it so the first pressure I have is 2500 after that 5000 moving forward it's 7500 and finally 9000 okay so this is the independent variable the values that already I have them already so I have now added the independent now we are asking about the unknown or dependent property or if you want to know the next step go to the message required info you need to add the dependent property so now i go to the dependent here and i am going to add it now i am looking for the mass density so i'm looking for m so if i'm just write m i will go to this section so now i want to study the mass density so choose okay so now i have the independent and which is temperature and pressure and is a dependent which is the mass density and I want to calculate after pressing calculate it turns from yellow to green which means the calculation is already done so how to see the performance or the results go to this section 
we have here different temperature so the zero is for one two three four because we have five pressures here so each degree will be at diff uh, five points because we have uh, or four points because we have four different pressures the best way to represent as i mentioned before instead of table we can go to the plot so now we have the property that is independent which it, which is dependent which is the mass density and we have the temperature and the pressure so i'm going to view the plot over here we have over here at the x-axis the pressure in kilopascal at the y-axis we have the density each line here represent a temperature so we have from 0 to 100 so maybe 10 points for temperature so if i choose like this one in blue with the x on it which is 20 it, this is this one so at 5000 and this temperature which is 20 degrees Celsius I can know the density this curve is not for extracting the information you can extract the information that you want from the table but here it's important to understand the trend what is the trend the first thing is if we increase the pressure over here we are having a temperature uh, a density increasing okay so the higher the pressure the higher the density this makes sense the second one is for the temperature if we, if we look here this temperature is zero and this one is 10 so here the temperature is decreasing what is happening over here for moving from here to here so at 6000 if i'm comparing the density of this one the dashed red and the solid red the density here at higher temperature so this one is higher temperature at the bottom so the density here at higher temperature is lower and we need to move up to lower temperature to have a higher density which means the higher the pressure the higher the density the second point is at the fixed pressure over here at a fixed pressure the lower the temperature here moving up means the temperature is lowering this will how will this affect the density it will be increasing so the lower the temperature the lower the density okay so this is a, a probability that we have been studying you have here uh, for again if we go back here for the dependent and I'm going to add you have a lot of physical probabilities that you can study with uh, an independent values like temperature and pressure so any information that you want to know you can look for here and understand the physical trend like if i choose like something okay like ph value okay it doesn't make sense over here but i want like something like the viscosity and i'm pressing okay so now you can calculate now i want to view the viscosity so for the performance plot i want to view the viscosity with temperature and pressure so now we have these curves for the uh, viscosity of um, in some tables at different pressure and different temperature so here the higher the pressure the higher the viscosity this one is higher temperature this one is lower temperature so the higher is this one high temperature high viscosity okay uh, so that's it so you can look for the probability that you want to study and don't forget at the beginning to add a dependent variable and after that uh, at the beginning we add independent variables after that a dependent variable also you can check all the stream analysis from here so here we have at the stream analysis the envelope we have created before the hydrate formation and finally the probability table